Hello again, this is Sugar Queen 7 Delta station on the countryside. Mostly used in a contest as Sugar Norway 7 Delta. And you can see the prototype of antenna controller uh, for a double six switch for SO2R contest activity. As you can see I got only five antennas connected to this but the controller built on the base of uh, large relays and the two small reset relays works very well. The main radio is on a top band as you can see it's a 160 meters and the low line of buttons is for the main radio and the upper is for the the second radio is FT2000 uh, Mark V. And the Mark V is on the 40 meters. As you can see that the antenna switching is, is working. I get two 40 meters antenna. It's a two element short 40 and uh, uh, dipole something like in, in, in inventor V so this is the uh, shorty 40 and this is the dipole um, the main antennas including uh, 2 times uh, 11 element uh, 3 banders and uh, shorty 40 now is parked on the low uh, on the low height so the difference Mm, uh, there is vi virtually no difference between between dipole and uh, mm, uh, and uh, shorty 40 because it's on the on the six meters or seven meters over ground mm, uh, heading to the uh, east so it's probably mm, uh, omnidirectional mm, pattern at this moment so. Uh, this is the static noise on the uh, top band, on the vertical, this is my main antenna on the top band. Uh, this is a dipole, three banders, of course the signal is received uh, by all antennas, but the signal strength is, is different. Uh, this is the vertical, tune to this frequency as you can see the S meter is on a 10 dB over 9 this is the dipole the signal is 7 <laughs> uh, 3 banders but, it's, but of course it, it makes any sense to test the antenna uh, to test the top band on, on 3 banders of course just for the for the switching. Okay. So the prototype is working. Soon I will have a, a good PCB for it, and I will have a good version of working version of of this uh, of this co uh, controller. Thank you for watching, this is Sierra Queen 7 Delta, Sugar Norway 7 Delta, bye!